tell you what, both fighters have put enough work in in the opening for three rounds to uh, last for a 12 round contest. Tremendous. A lot of hatred being expended. concentration on the both of their faces in their eyes is something for everyone to look at and say <laughs> Jesus look at that right hand oh Ben Sham what he's learnt in the States Ben smiles through the pain covers up a lot of those shots are going on the arms are on the gloves a few of them are getting through though and Eubank's expending a lot of energy there as well quality punches as he was letting them go but he's put a lot into it he was all asking what Nigel learnt in the States, but he showed there, he shook it off. Found a little bit of possum playing, and still in the fight. Ben's left eye, closing, swollen. She's looking very puffy. Chris Eubank, cut about the mouth. Well, you can't have bombs like this flying around without signs of damage. Eubank knows how to pace out around as well. He's stealing the breather he needs right now, as you notice. Not trying nothing, but still thinking, red alert. He needs to be. Ben's right in front of him. The pattern emerging now. Eubank firing in little clusters. About 15, 30 seconds worth of activity. A little break. Good work conserving energy when you're fighting at this pace. The body shot hurt. It certainly did. It went right down to Chris's boat. That was a tremendous shot. This is a war. You know, boxing at this level. This is what it's all about. Skill, gut, pride. It's all there. Eubank. Forced to hold. For yeah. dear life. He took a big right hand there, Dave. Bang on. But Ben's eyes come up alarmingly. Yeah, the left eye. And Eubanks knows it. Must be very disconcerting, Ben smiling, snarling at the challenger. He never used to do All that. All the but body shots, they do hurt. They certainly do. Ben always moving, looking for the opening. Both guys are trying they can take each other's best shots. Seconds out. Round five. Round five. And, you know, the great Michael Numb, the, the IBF middleweight champion in the crowd tonight. He might have to fight one of these boys. I'm sure he doesn't relish that prospect too greatly. Both fighters are very tired. The referees have very little to do. Look at Ben's left eye. Ben's left eye is in a horrible state. A it's almost closed. Completely. He hurt Eubanks with some tremendous left hooks and right hands of the body. Now, it's, it's all down to who's the fittest. I'm telling you, this is, not a, this is not a fight. This is not a boxing match. This is a complete war. Referees have very little to do. Just pull them apart and let them get on with it again. What a fight. It's been fantastic. Well, we thought if there was a little chink in Eubanks' arm, it would be the body shots. And Nigel Ben's been exploiting that, and he has hurt. Newbank, there is no doubt about that. He's made the There's challenge no question suffer. About that. And I'm sure he's going to be told by Vic Andretti in the corner to go for his body. But the problem is, where he's coming forward, he's leaving himself open. But that he's right dead. eye looks uh, mm. um, a bit of an alarmist. It's not cut, it's just grotesquely swollen. Absolutely. Just a little slip. And of course, with Eubank bombing over the big right hands, that puts the champ at an enormous disadvantage. See what, what Eubanks is doing now? He's, he's, he's threatening to throw punches, but he's not actually throwing them when he's taking a rest. And Ben's falling for it, he's making the mistakes of uh, dropping his hands himself. I'm afraid to open your mouth here, because every time I see something, the other one gets on top. Oh, of the left, gets through to Ben. Eubanks is coming forward now himself. He's taking the initiative. Well, Eubanks has taken some of Ben's best shots. And the ones around the head, he's proved he can take them. The body shots to him are the, de are the danger. They've both got to take a rest now. The, the, the pace of the fight has slowed down a bit. 
because they're both tired. It's, it's, it's been such, it's been so many bombs been thrown in the first couple of rounds that they're both extremely tired and they're both trying to use the jab now and feel each other out. Ben Zay is closing rapidly. But that must have been some right hand. Yeah, people talk about that Hearns and Hagler war. This isn't far behind, I tell you that. This is our domestic Hearns and Hagler, yes. You said it, Barry. A new bank growing in confidence, having a good round the challenger. This is a rest round for both fighters. Haven't been getting close. Eubanks has kept it at a distance. It's been a good educational round for him. He's been thinking it, thinking it through, taking his time, taking a rest. And Ben has allowed him to get away with it, up to now. Dare I say it. These guys will have respect for each other. If they didn't before, they'll have it after this fight. Whichever ones wins. Challenge as well. Definitely. Eubank seems to switch into a groove now. He's almost enjoying what he's doing. Every time he wins around Jimmy, watch what he does, he walks around and poses, he should be taking advantage of every single second of, of the break that he has, because he's tired, like he's not cutting anybody by, by walking around and posing, he should be taking a rest, taking his time, or filling his lungs up with air, and getting washed down with cold water to, to try and revive himself for the next round. Well, you can see the Ben Corner working on that damaged left eye, we've got the iron out, cold iron, Ambrose Mendy looking a little bit anxious, 